As we say in the report, each of Mr Patterson's several instances of paid advocacy would merit a suspension of several days. But the fact that he has repeatedly failed to perceive his conflict of interest and used his privileged position as a Member of Parliament to secure benefits for two companies for whom he was a paid consultant is even more concerning. He has brought the House into disrepute. A Conservative colleague, whom I respect a great deal, said to me on Monday that justice should always be tempered by mercy. I agree. But justice also demands no special favours. These are the precedents that we considered. Patrick Mercer was suspended for six months. Um, Ian Paisley, sorry, I've forgotten his constituency, uh, for 30 days. Jonathan Said, 14 days. George Galloway, 18 days. When Geoffrey Robinson failed to provide proper responses to the Commissioner and Committee, he was suspended for a month. These are the precedents. This case is just as serious because it involved at least 14 instances. It was a pattern of behaviour. And the member has said time and again over the last week that he would do the same again tomorrow. So if the House were to vote down or water down the sanction or carry the amendment, it would be endorsing his action. We would be dismantling the rule on paid advocacy, which has been around in some shape or form since 1695. I'm afraid the public would think that we would be the parliament that licensed cash for questions. This could have been very different if you had come to us and said, I'm sorry, I was trying to do the right thing, but I got it wrong. I want the House to uphold the highest standards, and I accept the reprimand and the sanction. I hope my constituents will deal kindly with me. The danger is, if this amendment is carried today, his name will become a byword for bad behaviour.